Ich freue mich sehr, hier auf dem Marienplatz mit euch zu sein. Um, I'm here today not just to um, speak about Julian, but to speak about uh, what fighting for Julian really means. For the last uh, four and a half years, I have been observing every stage of the extradition hearings. And I want to just share a little bit with you. I'm here for Amar al-Baluchi, who was used as a CIA training prop. A towel was tied around his neck and his head was banged against a concrete wall again and again and again until the CIA trainees felt they were tired. I'm here for my friend, my dear friend, Mamadou Ulslahi, who was held in Guantanamo for 15 years without charge and without trial, who was sexually humiliated, beaten, psychologically tortured intensively, and who still suffers from the, uh, the years of torture that he suffered. Mamadou was taken to Guantanamo because he had a phone call with his friend in the middle of the night. His friend was going to visit him and he asked his friend to remember to bring some sugar because they were going to have tea together. Under torture, he was forced to say that the sugar was an explosive. I'm also here for Hanan Saleh Matrud, an eight-year-old child who was killed on the streets of Baghdad by the King's Regiment, a British regiment, Just and she was shot at by a soldier in the group she used to take sweets from. It was thanks to the courage of Chelsea Manning. It was thanks to the courage of Chelsea Manning that we have a name, an identity for Hanan, for Mamadou, for Amar. And it's thanks to the courage of WikiLeaks and Julian Assange that they are starting to get justice. The case of Julian affects us all because if we care about a brother who is in prison, a child who is in a care home, a relative who is in hospital, or the water that is being polluted, we care about those people like Chelsea who tell us the truth about what is decided behind closed doors and the abuse that is agreed behind closed doors. And we also care that we here in Munich and many of you from other parts of the world are no longer a colony of America. And American law cannot be used to silence a journalist who tells the truth about American and British war crimes. I'm happy to talk to those of you who want to know the details of what is going on in court. But today what I want to tell you is that firstly, it is fantastic that we are here in Marienplatz in the Oktoberfest fighting for truth, fighting for democracy, fighting for human rights. You are here today, but it is not enough for me to give a speech and for you to listen. It is important that you do, that you take responsibility to do something something small, like putting a sticker in your window or on your car, 
something small like organizing a screening of Itaka or hacking justice in your church, in your trade union, in your community. We have a small amount of time before the war criminals win. And it is important we take that time to fight for justice really, really seriously. We will be in Strasbourg next week. Mania McKay, the German artist, will be bringing her beautiful art work, which is a real reconstruction of Julian's cell in Strasbourg. You can sit in the cell for 10 minutes and see what you feel. Invite your parliamentarian who is going to Strasbourg. Don't tell them to support Assange. Tell them to sit in the cell for 10 minutes. And however bad that cell is, and however unjust British justice is, the process in the US is even worse. So it is important that we respect the European Convention on Human Rights, we respect the sacrifice of Chelsea Manning, and we respect children like Hanan, men like Amar and Mohamedou, who have suffered at the hands of these war criminals. Ich danke die Aktivisten und meine äh, fantastische Übersetzung, Übersetzerin äh, und danke euch auch. Dankeschön.